I'm with Margate manager Jay Saunders after his side's 4-1 defeat in the Emirates FA Cup to Merstham. Um, Jay, uh, not many positives this afternoon, I presume? No, not at so. all. Um, listen, I've, been, I've praised the boys and we've had a good start to the season, but that, that today was unacceptable. Um, yeah, unacceptable, I think. Um, just being honest with him in there, some of the boys have had good starts to the season, but not enough turned up today. Uh, yeah, we had quite a lot of possession, but didn't do enough with it. Um, and defensively, I felt that um, some of the goals we conceded were poor today. And, all, and, and I don't see one that you go, wow, what a goal. Pat's got to do better probably with three of them. Um, and there we go. It's, uh, yeah, it's not, there's not a lot of positive I can take from it. Anyone here at the game would have seen a, a, a big difference between the first and second half. Margate certainly looked uh, a lot better in the first half. Um, one thing that happened at halftime was James Betty Saldana going off. Was that down to injury? Yeah, it was. We've lost James. James has been really good for us lately and I thought today he was causing them a lot of problems. Um, we moved him onto the left side because I thought we could get their right back. And he caused a lot of problems and, and it was a big blow when he came in at halftime and said he couldn't continue. Um, he, he's got that pace, he stretches teams. But we are short at the moment. I mean, obviously, I mean, Jake Embry's been in bed all week ill, so he's not been out of train and could only give him sort of 15, 20 at the end. Tomo's not really fit, probably shouldn't be coming on at the moment, but we're having to Jack Richards out. And, we're, um, and you, But I still feel that we've got enough. We went to Hornchurch and put in a good display. Yeah, we didn't win the game, but it, we were good enough to get something from the game. But um, today, just just poor. Like You can't concede the goals we did and, and accept that they've not... They've not opened us up or whatever, really, with passes. This is take nothing away from Merston. They won the game, so um, fair play to them. But we've we, the goals we conceded in the poor today, and it's as simple as that. And uh, one thing for sure, I won't accept. I won't accept it because I, I don't want to. I don't want to just sort of paper over things and think, oh, it's all right. We'll be all right next week. We've got a couple back. We need we need players in a couple of positions, and it's something that I'm working really hard on. And uh, the sooner that happens, the better. Will that be your biggest frustration this evening when you look back at the game that maybe, like you say, three of them goals could have seriously been avoided um, oh, on, on another day? Yeah, 100%. And listen, Pat, earlier in the season, Pat made some unbelievable saves, but you've got to take it on the chin today. He's, he's got to do better with three of them. It's as simple as that. I don't... And, um, well, at least two of them, if not three. And, and on another day, earlier in the season, he kept us in it. I think Cole Shortland made a couple of great saves. So that's part of being a goalkeeper. But can we help him out a little bit in front of him? Maybe, but we just didn't... They kind of, they put everything forward to their boys as, as quick as they could and they caused us a few problems. And uh, But again, like I say, all the, three of the goals certainly can be avoided and that's what disappoints me. Um, I don't mind getting, like, listen, you're going to lose games of football, you're going to concede goals, but only if they're good goals, not, not gimmies. And today we've, we've given Merston three of those goals and uh, after we got ourselves back in it, Monster scored an unbelievable goal. Um, got him in at half time and I thought, OK, we can... They take information on board, and I don't think we have. We've not taken information on board, and uh, it's something we've got to look at. Will one positive now be, Jay, that you have a clear week leading up to Enfield, so two, two training sessions with the boys, um, and, and maybe, like you say, an opportunity for you to, to maybe get one or two new faces in, uh, ready for what will be a tough game against Enfield next Saturday? Yeah, Enfield are flying, so that, that'll be a real tough one. Um, look, I don't want to be too down because at the end of the day, they've had a good start to the season. Um, but we, we, we've got, yeah, I, I just need a couple of players in key positions and I think if we can get that, it'll help us out a lot. We've got a week now to get everyone fit um, and hopefully we can we can then kick on against them. It'll be, it'll be a tough game. We've got some tough games coming up, but it is what it is. It's a tough league and um, we've got to go from there. But um, well, one thing I would like to say as well, I had a, a supporter come over to me at the dugout towards the end, giving me a bit of abuse. I've got no issue um, no issue talking to supporters. If, if they want to chat to me, more than welcome to come out and have a chat with me in the bar and I'll buy them a beer and they can give me their thoughts. Today wasn't wasn't good enough, but certainly when I'm trying to work, I'd rather not uh, have that on the sideline. But that, that is football. But more than, like I say, any any support wants to have a chat with me after the game, I'm always happy to have a beer with them and, and be honest with them. But I don't need telling today that we weren't good enough. And just finally, Jay, uh, once the dust settles on today, obviously disappointing, but like you did touch on it there, it has been a very positive start okay the last four days haven't been great but like you said at the start of the season it was a sort of not a transition year by any stretch of the imagination but you said it would take time to get to where you want it to be so we have to remember that don't we as a club and moving yeah. forward yeah listen it's disappointing to get the FA Cup uh, for, for the club's point to bring very revenue in so I'm gutted um, and it doesn't hurt anyone more than myself but you have to look, I think today we've got Swifty out there from last season. It's a complete new group and um, we're training once a week so you can only get so much information into them and, and we're trying. And, and if I'm honest, have we got more points on the table than I thought we'd have? Maybe. But um, 
what we have got is we've got an honest group in there. They know today wasn't good enough. Days like today happen. You, you see it in the FA Cup. There's rounds where I'm sure people expected us to go through because of the start, Merston there, but it's the FA Cup. You have to earn it. And today we haven't. Um, so fair play to Merston. I wish them all the best. And we've just got to work hard and, and, and keep trying to get things right. That's brilliant. Thank you for your time, Joe. No worries. Thank, Thank you.